Hey farmhands, Farm Reef here. Welcome back to another episode of The Lab. So on this episode of The Lab, we're going to talk about uh, marinic white spots. That nasty parasite that gets on our fish. It usually kills them out. But there's a few different ways we can uh, fix that problem. Um, one way is with, we can use uh, Polyp Lab Medic. What I like about this product here, it's reef safe. So you can add this product right to your established tank when you have all different kinds of corals in there and it won't harm them. So that's one great thing about this. There's not many uh, reef safe uh, medications on the market that can treat ick and uh, kill it out. How it works, well, it kills the, the free floating white spots ick um, that's in your tank. So when you see one of your fish, it has all the little white spots on it. Eventually those are gonna fall off the fish. They're gonna fall into your substrate, onto your rock, onto your corals. And then from there, they go through the cycle, and when they hatch out, they're gonna swim up into your water column, and they want to attach to a fish. So this is why when you use uh, the Medic, it, it kills uh, in the free floating state in your tank, in the sand, or in between when it's heading up towards your fish to attach. So that's why this is great to use, guys. And it won't harm your corals. Um, a couple other things what it'll do too, it'll help against uh, even marine velvet. And what's good about this product as well, you can use it in your freshwater tanks too. It's, uh, it's a pretty similar life cycle, and it won't uh, increase your pH, and it won't kill out any uh, nitrifying of bacteria either. So today I want to show you how we're going to use it, and a little information when to use it. So to use this product, um, let's, let's open the box to see what's inside. So what you got in here is it comes with a set of instructions, it comes with uh, the medic, and it comes with a spoon. For every spoonful, it's good for uh, 50 US gallons. The best time to use Medic is in the morning or at night when all the lights are out. Um, the white spots, they like to uh, try to attach to the fish when it's in its slowest state because imagine trying to catch a fish when it's moving around your tank. So when the lights are out, it's when the white spots are most active. And that's the time you want to start dosing this. You want to dose it uh, twice a day, so say morning and night before the lights are on from uh, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. is your best times there, guys. So that's when you want to dose. And say you have a really bad problem, you want to start out, you can use uh, three spoonfuls of this for 50 gallons, and you're gonna run that minimum for 10 to 20 days maximum, all right, guys? And when you're running this product, make sure you have your carbon and uh, any ozone off your tank while you're running this product. But make sure to keep your skimmer going because as uh, the white spots die off, your skimmer will uh, clean them out. They're, even though that they're really tiny and small, there's still abundance of them and it'll end up going into your skimmer and keep your tank clean. You don't want to have that die off in there. So you want to make sure and just, you know, just keep doing the 10 to 20 days. And then after those 10 to 20 days are up, you're going to want to uh, reduce uh, your carbon. I use uh, the Pro Carbon from Polyp Lab and you're going to reduce use that, you know, two, three days after that and uh, you'll end up cleaning up your tank really well. Um, a couple other things, uh, if you don't really, ick itself, right? You have to think about everybody has ick in their tank. The only reason I end up our fish getting is because either they're stressed out, they're sick, they're getting picked on by other fish. Um, when you got, you know, you buy new corals from a store and say you don't coral dip or you add it directly into your tank, some of the water gets in there and there's ick in their tank, it gets reinduced into yours. So that's uh, one way how that happens, just make sure your diet, keep your fish happy and healthy and you shouldn't have an ick problem. My yellow tang, it was coated in an ick, so I made sure I dosed the 10 to 20 days and I uh, cleaned him right up and uh, he's with us today. So I'm pretty happy about that. I got to see this working firsthand. So it's, it's a really great product, it's easy to do and um, it is safe for your corals and that's what it's all about. And the other thing is too, is like when you get new fish, you should put them in quarantine, make sure they're healthy, disease free before you end up putting them in your tank. So it cuts down a lot of chances of getting that nasty parasite in uh, your tank. So that's about it guys. So hopefully you guys learned a little uh, information about Medic. It's a, it's a great tool to have in your tanning. You keep it on the shelf. So if you ever have an outbreak or one of your friends, you can uh, dose that for the 10 to 20 days. Just follow the instructions and you're good to go. Well, thanks for tuning in this week, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, hope you tune in same time, same place next week. You never know what's coming up. So please subscribe and hit the like button.